Hello, um, test one two, shooting this on my phone. My name is George Nyoro and I am shooting this on my phone. This is a tutorial sort of on, a basic tutorial on Mali music. Mali music is based on, you can consider it the major scale with a sharpened fourth. So for example, if I was to take the D major scale, cause that's what I've been practicing on. We have a song on D major, on D minor rather, D major and Seku Kuyate also plays on D for the song I was rehearsing with. Anyway, I hope you're able to see this. So, in that scale, you just sharpen the the fourth. So, for example, this is what the fourth normally is. Sharpen it. So. The thing with Mali music is you have to be really good with skills to play it. Um, to make it sound like a, it's normally based around a certain instrument called a kora. Sounds like a guitar, but you can Google it. You can YouTube it. You can YouTube um, Seku Kuyate as he plays. He's a beast. But yeah, so that's just basically it. Um, for example, there's a song that I featured in the previous video that I uploaded. Um, it's a traditional Mali song. Everyone knows it. In fact, like we had these guys collab and play it in the collab. Laka also featured in that. But apart from that, when we attended some other show, some lady just walked up to stage um, and started singing it. That's how we knew, wow, this song is really popular. Whoa, very popular. This is it. Mm, goes like this. Just that. Now, if I had, um, if I had a stand, I would, it would better enable you to see how you could try mimic that because I would play with both hands, but you essentially play octaves if you're trying to mimic the chora, at least Seku's style. I see him doing a lot of octaves, so. And then, the reason you have to be good at skills is because of one fingering as usual, and it's really fast. Like, chora's, it's very fast so um you use a lot of uh, trills yes i was looking for that things like Still need to work on that myself uh, that's what i'm unfortunate but i thought i would share that with you my dear friends that is mali music it's quite rich and because of the nature of those chords because the scale is based on a sharp four you have to make sure you always sharpen the chords in which the four occurs so for example if your progression is six and two You cannot play six and two minor because that's the fourth you need to sharpen that then we noted this was mike as we were laughing most malian music is based around one chord or two chords it's very hard to find chords songs that go past those two and it's normally the six and the two dominant seven mostly those two and then you're in fact, like that traditional song, da 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 six, da 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 six, da 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 six, da 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 six, da 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 six, da 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 six, six, da da six, six. The whole song is on one note, and then you solo on that one note. You best have content to solo on that one note, my brother, my sister, because gender equality, my brother and sister. Peace.